Hello, welcome to another video on Pranavasimha Farms. What you can see here is trenches being made in the farm. The reason we are digging these trenches is that it serves two purposes. One, it helps conserve rainwater. The philosophy is that every drop of rainwater that falls on the farm should not really leave the boundary of the farm. Two, it acts as a reservoir for humus. The way it happens is that we end up putting all organic matter that gets generated in the farm, like dried leaves, dried figs, into these trenches. We apply Jeevamratam, a culture of microorganisms, onto these trenches. Those microorganisms decompose the organic matter and it eventually turns into humus. We don't really blow these trenches so as to not disturb these microorganisms. We plant the saplings on the ridges and as these plants grow, their roots reach these trenches and they can tap into the humus uh, that gets generated in these trenches. We used blow driven by ox to make these trenches. We first used a single blow to mark the trenches. The trenches is, are being made every four and a half feet. We used that single blow to mark the trenches. Then we used a sugarcane ridger. In Kannada it's called as Cooper Neglu. I'm not really sure if it's if it's really called as a sugarcane ridger, but that's what Google threw at me, so I'm going to go with it. We used that sugarcane ridger to dig these trenches. We had to use the sugarcane ridger about four times in fact, because I noticed that if I get it done only once or twice, it didn't really give us the depth we require. An ideal trench should be V V shaped. It should be one and a half feet in depth and two and a half to three feet at the mouth. We, even after all this, we really couldn't get that depth. We basically got about a feet depth and I think about 1.75 to 2 feet at the mouth of the trenches. We finally had to get farm labor to give finishing touches. I'm happy with the shape of the trench though. If you, if you look at the wall of the trenches, it's slanted so that when it rains, it doesn't really end up closing the trench. Once we complete the trenches, I, I still have a few more uh, trenches to be dug. Once we complete this, we will install the drip irrigation onto these ridges. Uh, hopefully it rains. This year it has been a very bad monsoon so far here. Hopefully it rains over the next week. We'll get the drip irrigation installed and then we will start the plantation on these ridges. Thank you.